Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am swatching and reviewing the brand new matte ColourPop Luxe lipsticks, the matte ones. So if you guys didn't know, they did come out with like a whole line beforehand that was a satin finish. This is a matte finish. So it's a brand new formula with brand new like claims and you know brand new colors and everything. So I did buy a few and I'm swatching them, reviewing them, and also doing a wear test. So if you're interested in that, then just stay tuned. But hi, if you're new here, I'm Kendra. I post three beauty slash lifestyle videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and you're going to want to describe, sub subscribe subscribe if you want to see them I'd love to have you guys join the family I do have a giveaway going on right now but it does end May 30th so there's only about well from the day I'm filming this there's only about 10 or 11 days left not really sure when this goes up but we are toward the end of it so you're definitely going to want to subscribe go watch that giveaway video and enter the giveaway and don't forget to check out my social medias if you'd like to they'll be on the screen right here but I've just been talking too much so let's get right on into the video okay guys so as you can see I don't have any lipstick on so I thought I'd give you guys some info before we got to the swatches just really fast so they do come in the same component um, and like packaging as the first Lux lipstick round I know those are more of like a satin matte finish where these are more of a matte finish. I haven't tried any of these, I haven't swatched them, so I'm really excited today, but I wanted to tell you just a little bit more about them just so we can know what we're getting ourselves into. So they are $7, which is the same price as the original Luxe lipsticks, which I think is such an awesome price for a good quality lipstick. The component looks identical. The only thing is on the bottom, it does say the name and underneath it, it says matte. So like if you have a bunch in your collection from the original and then the mattes, you will be able to tell the difference just from the bottom right here where it says matte. They came out with 14 matte shades. I only bought five. Um, I basically bought shades that I knew I would wear because I do have so many lipsticks already and I felt like with this many shades I could get a very good review on how the product is going to perform because I did get some oranges, some reds, some pinks, stuff like that. So. I didn't want to buy more than that because I just don't want to buy a bunch of lipsticks and have a lipstick graveyard because I feel like I already have one of those. I feel like we know enough to get into the swatches so I am going to do that right now. swatches of the five shades that I bought. The one I'm currently wearing is the last one you saw me swatch, which is called Maxed Out. I don't know what it is about these shades, but I love these like crazy bright blue toned pinks. They look like velvet. They're so pretty. I'm not a pink person, but these colors I love. And then the other one I was really, really surprised that I didn't think I'd like as much is called High Striker. It was the second to last one. It looks like a true red in the stick, but once you have it like on your lips, it kind of looks like a berry red, but it looks like this gorgeous velvety color. I don't really know what to say. I'm gonna give you quick thoughts so that this video doesn't get too long because I will do a wear test, but right now I'm just gonna give you my quick thoughts that I think of right now. They are very matte. Um, I don't feel moisturized, but I don't feel dried out. I do feel a little dried out because I obviously swatched a bunch and wiped them off and then 
you know, kept going. But I would recommend wearing a super, super thin layer of like a lip balm or whatever you prefer. One of the things they did mention was that there were like these pearls in it that would like smooth out your lines. And I will say I do kind of agree with that. I do think that is a true claim because with a matte lipstick, it can really emphasize your lines in your lips and your cracks and anything in there. And these look quite smooth, but also quite matte. So far, my cat is right here. <laughs> so far, they are quite pigmented. Um, I haven't had any issues with pigment, but I really do want to see how long they last throughout the day. So I'm going to start a wear test. I'm actually not doing the wear test today. I'm going to start it tomorrow because today it is already like 4 o'clock and... I actually am going to take all this makeup off to do another video, so I can't tell you like the exact time, but I will do check-ins and I will be vlogging it kind of, so you will see the timing and everything, and at least see how they wear. Now it is a lipstick, you do eat with your mouth, you talk with your mouth, you drink with your mouth, so it is highly unrealistic to think that any sort of lipstick in any way, shape, or form is going to last through all of that, but I do want to see just how it wears through those situations, so let's get on over to the wear test and let's see how these look at the end of the day. Okay guys, so this is the shade Maxed Out. I'm going to be wearing this all day. I applied it at around 9.30. I'm actually doing two wear tests in one day, so I'm just trying to be really efficient here. But yeah, I applied it at 9.30. Obviously, I'm going to reapply it throughout the day, but I will do some check-ins to let you guys know how it wears through like eating or like just a couple of hours worth of talking or all that stuff, so. I will keep you posted. Okay guys, so it is, let's see, 12.15, I am at a barbecue. So I did eat a lot. It's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell what it looks like because I can barely see it so bright out here. Hopefully there's nothing in my teeth. But it looks pretty good, like I feel like, would I touch it up? Yes, and I will touch it up. But, like if you couldn't touch it up, you could kind of just like, dab it with your fingers and go throughout your day and be totally fine so so far so good because it's been three two and a half hours i guess two and a half almost three hours no it has been three you know what i don't really know two and a half something like that so yeah i'm, I'm gonna touch it up but just keep in mind it does last pretty well through veggie burgers or if you were gonna eat a hamburger or something like that it'll last <laughs> okay guys it is i can't tell time right now almost four, 3.54, and I took a nap, and I'm not really sure how that happened, but it did. I actually sleep on my stomach and then sleep on half of my face, but because I have makeup on and I'm meeting with family later on today, I slept on my back, and um, none of the lipstick smudged. Now again, I didn't really use my lips, but I thought like, hey, let's see what the lipstick looks like at the end of this nap and it still looks good i just have to clean off this little smudging up here but i think that was probably from one of my cats because she slept on my chest on top of me so good to know that they last through naps as long as you are not sleeping on your face okay guys so it is 5 30 i'm going to take the lipstick off now but it has been eight hours since the first application and i've only reapplied it once which is pretty great. I don't know if you guys can tell, it did get like that buildup of product right on the center, like right there, you can see right there. Um, that's pretty common. On a, on a normal day, I would have reapplied it more or like perfected it, I guess you could say like dab off the center and reapply it. But for the sake of the video, I wanted to see how long I could go through it. And the last time I applied it was at, I think 12 or 12, 15, I can't remember exactly, but I did vlog it. And so it's been like five or a little over five hours and I haven't reapplied it, took a nap in it, and this is what it looks like. I'm very impressed. One thing I will say is my lips do feel very dry, but it is a matte lipstick. So like, you have to kind of expect that. But for most of the day, it did feel pretty hydrated. It's just towards the end of the day now that my lips kind of feel dry and sucked up hydration. But really impressed. So I can't wait for them to come up with more shades of this formula. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here and you'd like to see more videos like this. If you want to follow me on my social media, especially my Instagram, I'm quite active on there, so just hit up Kendra Cuss. It'll be right here. But I'm going to let you guys go. Have a great morning, noon, evening, day, night, whenever it happens to be that you're watching this video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.